East Jory, Louisiana Tech at home to close out the regular season, taking on 2-9 and nine Western Kentucky. Bulldogs in trouble early. Lucky Jackson takes the end around. He cuts inside. And he takes it into the end zone for the touchdown. Hilltoppers take a 7-0 lead. Second quarter now 16-0. Western Kentucky with a double reverse. Back to the quarterback. Steven Duncan connects with Mike Quan Dean. They score on the drive to extend the lead to 23. Bulldogs, though, finally breaking through late in the second. Israel Tucker from 19 yards. He gets the Bulldogs on the board, but Tech unable to overcome that early deficit. They fall 30 to 15. NBC Six's Brad Csack was at the game and has more from Rustin. Brad, yeah, Tim, watching this game this afternoon, it seemed like the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs just really didn't come to play against Western Kentucky. And talking with Coach Skip Holtz after the game, he didn't know whether to attribute that to the early kickoff time, the fact that it was a Thanksgiving holiday, or that the Bulldogs were playing their 10th straight game without a bye. Either way, that lethargic play at the beginning of the game put the Bulldogs into an early hole, trailing 14 nothing just minutes into the contest. In his post-game press conference, Coach Holtz very blunt about the outcome. I think at the end of the day, they wanted this game more than we did. I thought they outplayed us, they outcoached us, uh, they outexecuted us. I, I don't think you can sit and point a finger at any one uh, area, but ultimately at the end of the day, to get this football team ready uh, to go play, that's my job as a head football coach. And I do not feel like we went out and played very inspired football, uh, especially in the first half. So now the Bulldogs in a state of purgatory. They are going to a bowl game, but we'll have to wait until next Sunday to find out which game they will be playing in and who their opponent will be. Bowl matchups will be officially released on December 2nd. For now, reporting in Ruston at Joe IA Stadium, I'm Brad Cisak, NBC6 Sports.